Hi, you guys. Welcome back to The Tumbling Coach. I'm Coach Javis, and with me today I have Emily. Hi. And we're going to be teaching you how to spot a standing back tuck right in your house. By the end of this video, you will have the tools necessary to safely spot somebody through a standing back tuck. Nice. Before we get into spotting a standing back tuck, these are a few um, skills or drills that your athlete should have before starting their back tuck journey. The first thing they should be able to do is a strong backwards roll where they stay in the same tight tuck position the entire time. Emily will demonstrate that for us. Arms up, nice, finishing all the way through to their feet. The next thing that they will want to have nice and strong is a straight jump. So Emily's gonna swing, get her arms up by her ears, push all the way through her toes and make sure her core stays nice and tight when she's jumping. Go ahead. Good, beautiful jump. The last two things that your athlete should have before starting their back tuck is a nice strong hollow hold. Go ahead, lay on your back. Arms are by our ears, and then our low back should be nice and tight to the floor. And then the other variation of this is a tucked hollow hold. So she's gonna pull her knees in. She's gonna try and keep her arms nice and tight up here, pulling her back to the ground and keeping it where her toes are higher than her knees. So this doesn't look like this, okay? So we want these to be nice and tight. Squeezing super tight here, arms are up. First, I'm going to go over your hand placement when spotting a back tuck. So your strong hand should be the furthest away from the athlete, right middle of her back, a little bit further away from you rather than close so that you can kind of support their whole weight. The other one is gonna go on their thigh here, but as they swing, it might hit your arm, go ahead and swing. And so if they do that, you'll move away a little bit and bring it back in as they jump. So go ahead and do a straight jump, right like that. All right, I'll go ahead and demonstrate one more time and try and slow it down a little bit for you. So I'm gonna spot her all the way through the tuck. She's gonna do a nice big swing. I'm gonna follow in with this lower hand and help push her legs over at the top of her jump. And then catching her at the end. Um, it's a good idea to have them wear a shirt and then you can kind of pinch onto the shirt as they flip through so you're able to lift while they're flipping if needed. For your safety and for your athlete's safety, make sure you are never spotting unless you're 100% confident and comfortable spotting through the skill. So now I'm going to break down the spotting and kind of go step by step so that you can feel comfortable going all the way through with the tuck. First, to get you comfortable supporting your athlete's weight and to help them understand the direction of the jump, you're gonna stand behind them like this, put your hands on their waist and they're going to do a nice big jump up and kind of stretch over your shoulder a little bit, staying tight here. One more time. In that tight, hollow body position that we showed at the start. So now here with me, I have Emily's mom, Michelle, and she is going to demonstrate all of these techniques that we just learned. So first she's gonna step up behind Emily. And Emily's just gonna do this jump up and over and nice back on her feet that's good as you get comfortable with that you can have your athlete begin to enter into a tucked hollow position at the top of their jump good one more time nice big stretch good and putting them nicely back onto their feet now she's going to demonstrate the progression from that drill where emily does a little tuck she's on her knee because she's a little taller than Emily that way. She's not lifting Emily, but rather underneath of her and just following her. Nice, setting her back on her feet, that was great. From there, you will then spot your athlete through a backwards roll where they begin laying down on their back. So one hand underneath the middle of their back, other hand underneath thighs. They're going to pull their legs over. You're gonna help guide them and just get that feeling of spotting through a backwards flip. And lastly, she's gonna spot her through a backwards roll. 
one hand underneath their legs, helping over and finishing through. Great. Next is spotting the actual tuck. Um, I cannot stress enough how important it is to make sure that when you do these, you are in, on a soft surface, either a mat or a, a trampoline, so it's a little bit easier, or a mattress even, something so that it's soft if the athlete lands on their knees instead of their feet or anything like that. Right here. Hand is right here, ready to go to her thigh. Nice big swing. Up, finish, and squeeze. All right, she is now ready to spot all the way through the tuck. And before today, she has never ever spotted any kind of tumbling before. So go ahead, step on up. Just middle of the back, holding onto that shirt to, to help. Up, finish, beautiful. A couple things to watch for are making sure that your athlete is getting their arms up nice and tight behind their head, making sure their head doesn't go like this when they're going into their tuck. We want it nice and tight here, and then squeezing super tight here in their core, not letting their back arch like this as they go into their tuck. In the tuck itself, one thing to look for is making sure as they pull their legs in, they're not pulling their feet to their butt. Go ahead. That doesn't create any rotation. They wanna be driving their knees, shins, and toes up over their body, just like in our tucked hollow position that we practiced at the beginning. As your athlete gets stronger and more confident, you'll wanna get them used to starting the skill without your hand there so they don't get too acquainted to that. So come here, start with your hand away, ready to spot, and then as they jump, you'll come in and spot them. As they get stronger and stronger, a good way to transition to having them do it more on their own is by starting from a raised surface. If you have a mat, that's great, otherwise, off of a, a mattress or something a little bit higher up than the floor. And then you can start to do less with the hand that flips them. So maybe you just give them a little tap there or do nothing at all with that hand on their legs. Emily is still working on perfecting her back tuck by herself. So this is a great time for me to show you how I work on them with her with a little less spot. And nice, that was awesome. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and learning how to spot a back tuck. And a huge thank you to Emily and Michelle for being so willing to be used in these demonstrations. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for continued tools and tutorials for your tumbling journey. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys are working on at home. Uh, leave a comment below on some skills that you're practicing or, or really working to perfect. Bye. Bye.